everyone, my name is Charlie. Here I'm going to introduce some tricks about how to use SAS functions in the SQL procedure. SAS has a lot of powerful functions. The greatest thing is that most of them can be directly used in SAS. Besides, the SQL procedure has a few unique functions. These functions are very easy to use and they do have a lot of strength. Here I just choose the 10 functions. I feel most powerful during my daily work. In this video, I use four datasets. One is the simulated social security number dataset. The other is a simulated personal business dataset. The class and the cars datasets in the SAS help library are also used. I'm using a PC SAS Lens 3. Let's go to SAS. At first, I wrote some code to create the two similar datasets. Um, first, I run this social security number code first. So, um, this uh, dataset has like two columns. Easy column is one social security number entry. The two entries should be identical to each other. However, because of some reason, there are a there are number of missing values. The next one is the um, patient visiting dataset. Each ID here represents a patient that visited hospital multiple times and received three different treatments. If there is any effect after the treatment, I use the number one here as an indicator. Otherwise, I use zero, which means there is no effect at all. Let's run it. So, uh, we have this small patient visiting dataset. Let's begin with the first function, which is the monotonic function. This function can specify the row number for the social security number dataset. We don't want to the, uh, have the whole dataset. We just want to choose the observations between the row number 501 and 800. And let's run it. Finally, we will have this subset with like 300 observations. I also like to use the count n and n miss functions. If we put even a low argument at all for this uh, count function here, it will return the total number of the observations. If we put the variable name as the argument, it will return the number of the non-missing values for this particular variable. The n function here is equal to the count function, and the n miss function is only for the missing values. Okay, this is the output table. The call nest function combines several columns together and keeps the non-missing value. In our example, the social security number dataset has none of missing values. If we combine the two social security number columns together, it will eventually help us maximize the information we have. See here? Even though it has some missing values, but uh, it's better than any of the columns. The next function is the missing function. Uh, the missing function is a very interesting function because it returns a number. One here means a missing value and a zero means non-missing. Uh, we can just use a few uh, functions together. Uh, we can add them up. So, the final result can tell us about the missing status for each observation. Here we go. We have uh, the missing status for the whole data set. I personally have two favorite functions, which are the status function and the stundex function here. Uh, they can do fast matching. The first one is according to the spelling, and the second one is according to the pronunciation. For example, we want to find it 
uh, if there's any possible mistake in the first social security number column because it can have a du duplicate by mistake I can use the proc sql to have a self joining um, you can see as a result uh, we found uh, a, a few dubious pairs um, so the last pair uh, looks like uh, quite uh, interesting so we can check them a little bit later as for the standex function here um, uh, we can use this uh, starshub.class as an example uh, we run it uh, this data set has like uh, 19 names so uh, we can use this sound of some dex function to find any similar name let's run it okay we found two names which are John and Jen their pronunciations are quite similar we can just have a close look at the two names to see if they are duplicates or not the run uli function does simple random sampling if we uh, want to select like um, 30 observations out of the 1000 observations we can simply specify the out of option to be 30 at the very beginning and uh, we can put this function as an order by statement so uh, the output is going to be a random sample of course we can uh, set the seed here to be one two three four um, or any other number let's see it yeah. yes we got this sample with 30 observation the max function sometimes we can simplify some complicated work for example if we want to know if the treatment is effective after many visits we may have to do a few coding at a data step if uh, here we use the max function here um, uh, the result will be very straightforward here we have this table here uh, we can see that the treatment of one is effective for all the patients the treatment of two is only effective for the first patient and the third treatment is only effective for the last patient the IFC and IFN function are very convenient tools they can replace the case one statement in the SQL uh, syntax for binary syntax and simplify the coding for example if you want to see yes or no after the first treatment we can use the ifc function here to do this translation and suppose the hospital has a, a, a discount policy suppose um, the total cost is more than one thousand dollars for one patient there will be like a 15 percent discount so we, here we can use the ifn function to do this translation here and let's run it uh, we can see that um, uh, the, 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 the 0, 01 has been translated by the ifc function and here is the total cost and here is the discounted cost by this ifn function the unique function can always find the numbers of categorical variables the sas help cost function has a lot of variables here okay so we are interested in the make model and origin variables so if you run this proc sql statements uh, uh, we'll be able to see that the car makers are 38 they are like a three origin six car types The last function is the put function. The format procedure in SAS can always create user defined um, format. If we use this put function and use defined format as a well statement, it will create pretty good filters. For example, as for the car price, 
we can define that a car with more than forty thousand dollars is a high price between twenty six thousand and forty thousand is medium price otherwise the price is no price if you only want to choose the cars with high and the medium price you can use the put function here to make a filter see here in the result we only have the high price car and the medium price car so this put function works pretty good so as a result if we can combine these 10 powerful functions and the SQL procedure together, we are able to use SAS for data management and a descriptive statistics much better. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.